slowly we're we're slowing down and the diamond's just going to start raising up again basically telling us that we're back on track okay i also at this point in time got an fmc message so i'm going to pull that up and what it did say in here it doesn't say it now but it said drag required and it erased it because I turned uh, on my speed brakes so anytime you get a drag required message in your FMC that's basically telling you that look you know we gotta slow down a little bit you gotta slow yourself down or you're never gonna meet your altitude restriction at your next point which is 13,000 feet and 250 knots so now that we're leveling off nicely we can go ahead and turn off our speed brakes and let's take a look and see where we stand perfect our diamond is uh, in the center okay here's that decelerate point again because remember we need to be at Klar at uh, 250 knots and 13,000 feet so at this point we're going to start to de uh, decelerating and then we'll be at Klar at around 13,000 feet and are we gonna meet that restriction yeah it looks pretty good so let's fast forward a little bit okay and re, uh, resuming uh, we are going to be hitting our deceleration point and once we hit it you'll notice a couple things are gonna happen this will drop down to 250 which is where we're going to want to be. Okay, and we're going to slowly start leveling off at around 13,000 feet. And we're going to drop, the autopilot is going to be dropping our speed down to 250 knots. So here we are, we're decelerating, and we should be at 13,000 feet. Once we get to Klar, we're only about four miles away, and it looks like we're going to make it. It's going to be pretty close. Okay, so that part that part of our descent profile is complete. And I just got a FMC message, so let's go ahead and see what that is. And... It's asking me, there you go, it's asking me for some more drag, so we'll go ahead and uh, activate the speed brakes. And the reason it's asking me for drag is because it's having a tough time slowing down at 250 knots. But now with the speed brakes activated, we're slowing down pretty nicely. Okay, so we'll go ahead and deactivate the speed brakes again remember that you always want to slow yourself down with speed brakes you don't want to be using your flaps okay so we're at 13,000 feet 250 knots our VNAV has disconnected and let's go ahead and pull up the FMC and let's take a look at our next altitude restriction which is at 11,000 feet Oops. I'm sorry, 13,000 feet, 11, 9, 8. We need to be at 8 by the time we get to Sunst. So let's go ahead and close the FMC. Let's change our altitude setting on our S, uh, MCP to 8,000. And let's go ahead and hit LNAV again. And we're going to start descending down to 8,000. So, so far so good. We're a little high, but the autopilot is uh, getting us down fairly nice. Good time to uh, put together our approach profile, or at least pick which runway we're going to be approaching. And to do that, we just hit the departure and approach button. And obviously it's uh, K uh, LAS and we hit approach and we have a list of runways we want to get all the way to the end and we do that by hitting the 
next key until we get all the way to the end where we find runway 25 right and we're going to select that it's going to ask us for what's called a runway extension this is just a visual reference um, I always use 15 so let's go ahead and type in 15 go back up and go ahead and hit that in and we're going to press the execute button and what that did is if I can just zoom in here a little bit can we, uh, it drew us a nice little line um, it's really more of a, a, a reference point and this line is exactly 15 nautical miles long now we're not going to be approaching going in this way we're going to be going around that way so as we get to that point you'll see it makes a little more sense this is more or less a visual marker for us uh, if we have to get ourselves lined up the other setting that we can now change at this point too is we could start putting in our ILS frequencies and to do that as we go into the N1 I'm sorry into the initial reference page it's going to give us a few pieces of information here what I'm looking for is obviously uh, very important is the runway length and it's almost 15,000 feet long so that's more than enough for our landing the ILS frequency is 110.3 so since I'm already there let's go ahead and put that into our radio stack okay 110.3 and 110.3 okay so that's all set and then the other piece of information that it gives us is the course heading for the runway which is 255 and I'm gonna take that information and I'm gonna stick it into our course indicator All right, what's this mean and why is this important? Well, the course indicator, once you're on approach, you will actually switch your display over to what's called the approach mode. So this way, what you will see is your ILS indicators are going to be lined up for you. Now, the plane is tur turning, so so this is turning. But you'll see as I play around with the course button see how that moves around well if it's set to the course setting of the runway of 255 this ensures that I'll be precisely in, um, not lined up with the runway but this this will be lined up with the runway is just a visual reference for myself so that'll definitely make things a lot easier for me our approach is going along very well typically by this point of the game you would be vectored to the runway by ATC but we're not using any ATC instructions for the purpose of the tutorial so we're just gonna let the flight management computer vector us directly into the runway the one last thing that we want to do is we want to look at our approach chart for runway 25 right and what I'm looking for is the individual intersections that I'm going to need to follow to get to runway 25 right. Now obviously I'm going to be using the ILS so I don't need this but um, it's a good habit to get into. So our first intersection for the runway is going to be right here so that's going to be F L Y E S and we're going to go ahead and uh, put that into the FMC okay so we just type in F L Y E S okay you'll also notice that we have uh, what's commonly referred to as, as a disco in 